Hi everybody, Mike McConville here one more time, Stratford, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to my Patreon channel. And thank you for subscribing. So what we have here is an HD28 150th anniversary. The neck reset is completed. I have the edge of the fingerboard masked off. We've filled in under the frets all the way up. Just getting ready to pat a little bit of French polish on there. That's the kind of final touch. We have obviously reset the neck, installed the new frets, leveled, recrowned, polished, edge dressed. We're right on the home stretch for this thing. There'll be strings on it by the end of the day. And as always, we give you a detailed, informative play by play every step I make. So, as you've seen in other videos, this is how I set up. Uh, to give me clear access to the edge of the fingerboard. Instrument is held firmly with those leather straps, not worried about it slipping or slopping around while I'm working. Uh, no excessive force here, no danger of it being crushed. Uh, this is just uh, held down with leather straps in the optimum position, which allows me to do an optimum job. Here we go, we just got a little touch of French polish on here. So we're just going to pad that on there, and that'll give us a nice sort of consistent finish along the edge of that fingerboard so that at a glance really nobody would ever know that this guitar was even touched and I've always stressed this with my students you know cover your tracks if you do it right nobody would ever know that you were ever here setting up to do this job now I'll start by masking this off and confining the edge of the fingerboard so that that's the only thing exposed. Kind of double up the tape over the uh, soundboard. So that neck is elevated, kind of floating in midair, because the underside was just French polished. Stick. I filled in the underside of the frets now on this base side. Just getting ready to level this out and then we'll pad the French polish on and then all of the fingerboard work on this guitar will be done. You take the excess off with the steel wool quickly and then we'll switch over to our little our little sanding sticks. This is a actually 120 grit. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off any hint of protrusion on the outside of those frets and I'm giving us a nice consistent finish. Uh, from end to end and that's what you're kind of looking for and that's why I've masked off uh, the fingerboard so that only that is exposed so that's our 180 grit and I clean up the last of that so we want a consistency of finish all the way along so at a glance it just looks factory a couple more strokes over there Liking that. Okay. So now we'll go at it with a steel wool once again and just just kind of buff it out a little bit actually with a steel wool. Now we're ready for French polish. So all these final touches that make the difference between a barely passable job or a flawless, undetectable job. And that's what we're after here. So I hope that I've inspired you in some way, shape, or form to up your game and make you a better tech. Cheers. We'll put our top mask on there one final time. Smooth as silk. 
So now when we slide that straight edge along and bring it up to the bridge, this is how much clearance we have. That's an 18 thou feeler gauge. This means that for the next 40 or 50 years, there'll always be plenty of real estate on that saddle to drop that action down for maximum playability. And that is why we went to all the trouble to do the neck reset on this guitar.